Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and welcome to another episode of The Naked Gun. This is a video series where I choose a weapon, I use absolutely no attachments, hence the Naked Gun title, and uh, then I let you guys know why I liked or why I disliked the weapon with its barebone essentials. And for today, I'm going to be testing out the RPK. I hardly ever use this one normally, I don't really see myself getting killed by this often, and I don't really see many people using it at all, and so I wanted to kind of test this out to see why it's so unpopular, and while it's a decent weapon, I, I can tell why. Not a lot of people gravitate towards this gun for the support class. I'll go into more detail as to why, so let's get started. Uh, so first off, the RPK has the standard damage model of the assault rifle, so it's going to do 25 damage up close and 18.4 at long range. It also has a decent rounds per minute. It has an RPM of 700, which isn't terrible by any means. I'd say it's uh, about average or above average for the support weapons. Uh, the support weapons in general are very slow, so if you are looking for anything that's just going to rip through the enemy team uh, with a high RPM gun, the support weapons are probably not going to do the job for you. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's about average for all the weapons in general, but it's above average for the support weapons. Uh, as for its reload time, it's it's decent. It's got a three, a three second reload if you have a bolt in the chamber, but if you've gone through all of your ammunition, uh, it's going to take you four seconds. Uh, that's not too terrible. I mean, that's uh, basically the same as the FAMAS, which is an assault rifle, which only has 26 rounds in its magazine, and the RPK has 46 rounds. So there's a huge difference there, and uh, in my opinion, the the reload time is com completely justifiable. Uh, the one thing I do have to note, though, is that the M27 has a reload time of 1.9 seconds if you have a bolt in the chamber or 2.5 seconds if you don't. I'm going to be making a lot of comparisons to the M27 because I think it's probably one of the most uh, uh, one of the most used and probably the best support weapon in the game right now and the RPK while it compares to it and it does very well in some situations uh, as you can tell the uh, the reload time when you compare the two is just completely night and day. The, the M27 just blows the RPK out of the water. Uh, as for its recoil, I'd say it's probably one of the most consistent out of the support weapons. It's got a .2 off to the left and the right and only a .3 up. Uh, really, this thing doesn't really have a whole lot of kick to it. It's very consistent, and while you would think that would be an amazing thing, the one downside of it, though, is that it has a .2 on the left and the right, which makes it pretty much impossible to try to figure out what direction it's going to bounce. It's not going to bounce very much to the left and the right, but when you try to go for a long-range engagement, it can be very challenging challenging just to try to line up every single one of your shots. So for my playstyle, I like to use the RPK kind of in the medium game, and that's kind of where you're going to want to use all of your weapons when you're playing as a support class. Uh, they really do perform at the medium range, and, and not really too well up close, but the medium game is really where you're going to want to play it, and the RPK is really no exception. Uh, comparing that to the M27, while the M27 does have a larger, uh, more, it has a little bit more variance in its recoil. It's got a 0.1 off to the left and a 0.3 to the right and a vertical of 0.35. Uh, because it's it's a little bit more predictable, going for long range engagements, at least for me with the M27, is a lot more manageable. So I think that the M27, while it's got a little bit more a little bit more recoil, I think just because it's more predictable, that makes it more manageable and easier to take out those targets. Uh, one nice thing about the RPK is that it does have a great initial recoil, so you're not really going to have to compensate all that much for those first sh couple of shots. And for me, and if you're a player that really doesn't like to compensate for recoil, you just want to point and click at a target and have them die, then the RPK might be your support weapon of choice. Because when I was playing, because the the recoil is unpredictable, but it's very consistent, so it's just going to kind of bounce back and forth, and as long as the target is close to medium range, you, you put your cursor over the enemy's uh, chest and then kind of hold down the trigger, they're probably going to die. I mean, maybe you're going to have to uh, compensate for a little of the initial and also the vertical recoil but really the recoil on this thing is very consistent and if you don't if you don't like to manage or think about your recoil at all then the RPK is probably your uh, your perfect choice uh, so with all of those basic stats out of the way, really the main reason why I think this weapon just doesn't cut it and a lot of people just kind of stick with the M27 or even the L86A2 
is mainly due in part because it's or it's uh, it's RPM isn't fantastic. I mean, it's it's high for the support class, uh, but its its reload time is quite significant when you compare it to the other two weapons. And because its its recoil is a little bit unpredictable, you're not going to do as well at long range engagements. And because Battlefield is such a you know, the, the maps are gigantic, more likely than not, you're going to run into those situations where you do need to take out a long range target. And I find that the M27 and the L86 uh, are just a lot better suited for those engagements. And they also have a higher RPM, so they're even going to do better at uh, close encounter engagements as well, because more bullets are going to be flying at your enemy, and you're not going to have to worry, or you're going to have more room for error compared to the RPK, where you're going to have to make more, or make it sure that every one of your, of your shot counts. Uh, as for the attachments, it's really going to be up to you for the first slot, whatever scope you're most comfortable with. I prefer the Cobra Sight because it gives me a lot more field of view. Uh, as for the second slot, I would say that you are, you should always use the bipod or just kind of not even use it if you're on the Xbox 360 or the PS3. Uh, really, you do not need to use the foregrip on it. Its horizontal recoil is very small. While it's unpredictable, trying to or using the foregrip is just going to be a detriment and it's really not going to do anything for the weapon. And you're probably probably not going to get as many kills with it. Uh, as for the third slot, I would go with the heavy barrel or the extended mags. Uh, extended mags, of course, is just going to give you more ammunition and get, you're going to be able to take out more targets, which, which is always a good thing. And the heavy barrel is going to increase your accuracy and make you do more damage at medium range and be more accurate as well. So I, I like the heavy barrel. I found that I got a lot of use out of it because there isn't already a lot of recoil on this bad boy. Uh, the heavy barrel really didn't add much more to it and I found that I was even more effective at medium range which is exactly where the RPK performs best uh, but overall the RPK is a lot of fun to use I still don't think it's as good as the other support weapons out there when you compare them to them uh, but it's it's very consistent it's very fun if you're looking for a weapon where you don't have to think very much then this is probably the perfect uh, gun for you uh, but that's about it for today's Naked Gun, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did or just want to support my channel, I always appreciate it when you give my videos a rating. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more. But until next time, guys, have a good one and take it easy.